Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Day of Flying with Chris, 2016 edition. When we had found that we could get nothing to eat at St. Michaelisdon, we decided to refuel and go on to Wilhelmshaven. After figuring out how to operate the ancient fuel pump and putting 10 liters of F gas in each side, we set off on the next leg of our journey. The weather was great and we had a good time looking at the Elbe, the port of Bremerhaven, with the airfield still in operation by then, but now shut down, and finally approaching Wilhelmshaven. Wilhelmshaven has one of the new radio mandatory zones where all VFR traffic must announce themselves when entering. These RMZ take the place of the former airspace Foxtrot around airfields in uncontrolled airspace with arrivals and departures under instrument flight rules. Since you normally announce yourself anyway, there's not really anything new, just that there is now a specific zone a few miles outside the airfield and up to 1000 feet above ground. Just as we approached Wilhelmshaven and about to advise Flight Information Service that we would like to leave the frequency, some other flight chose that moment to file a new flight plan en route. The controller had to go through all the fields in a challenge response kind of way and it took a couple of minutes. In particular, the flight crew was not sure what to answer to the question, do you have a dinghy on board, which is a mandatory field in any flight plan. When that was finally done, we left the Bremen information frequency and talked to Wilhelmshaven Info and landed without further event. We finally could get a snack and then quickly had to go back to Hannover after refueling again.
Das ist ja mein geiles Zeichen. Moment. Just after landing, as we were about to park the aircraft, we saw an airplane with what Chris thought to be one of the most hilarious registrations. That was it for this time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and spread the word. Fly safe.